welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky, and today I'm going to show you how to create this text transition in After Effects using a simple card wipe effect. So let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and as you can see, I already have my comp created. And uh, all you have to do is just right click here and say new comp. And also, as you can see, my background is created as well. And you can download these backgrounds for free at my website, ukramedia.com. And I've created a tutorial on this, how to create these backgrounds. So check it out if you haven't. Uh, so I'll be sure to post a link below this uh, video. So check it out. All right, so let's create text. And I'm going to do text here and type text transition. Okay, and then I'm going to do select the text and do control alt home to center the pivot point and then control home to center the text to the composition. And let's do some kerning here, just a slight adjustment and some breather here. Okay, good. Next, I'll uh, select this layer and then control D duplicate it. And I'm going to hide the old one and I'm going to type uh, the next text. So let's do like a ukramedia.com. Okay, and do the same thing. Control Alt Home to center the pivot point and then Control Home to center the text to the comp. And so essentially, I'm going to drop this below. I want this text to be first and then it's going to transition into this one. So, all right, so I'm just going to uh, make this one visible first and, and make sure this one's not visible. So, and let's apply our effect. To do that, I'm going to select the first layer here and just go to the effects and presets and then type card wipe and double click to apply it. And as you can see this uh, right here, transition completion value, if, if I just drag it, you can see the effect that I'm getting. So I'm just gonna take it down to zero and then go shift page down on my keyboard to go um, up tw uh, 10 frames on my timeline and then just set a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch. And then um, let's hit U to reveal my keyframes and then shift page down twice again to go 20 frames forward. And I'm gonna drag it all the way to 100. So essentially you see my animation here and now i wanted to transition from text transition to euchre media so to do that let's go to back layer here make sure it's set to euchre media so now it's transitioning into euchre media and let's add some uh, rows maybe take it up to about 55. it's a definitely different effect now and also columns now columns you can't really see right now uh, but if you take the time uh, timing randomness value all the way to one you can definitely see it now so that's good uh, next let's play with these things here so let's say flip axis make sure it's set on Y uh, side to side okay and then let's take it to negative here and the left to right is fine and none for this um, okay next let's play with the position jitter and the way it works really um, it's just for each axis you have amount and speed that speed is kind of like wiggle you know and the amount like let's say for x axis the amount you know you can keyframe this value you can go side and back you know that's what the amount does but jitter is kind of like let me take this jitter is kind of like the speed see right now it has a small jitter so you can take it up and it's going to go crazy so it depends on what you're going for but i'm going to play with the z uh, axis uh, of this and uh, so basically i'm going to bring the amount i'm not going to play with the speed value so just the amount value so i'm going to bring it closer to me like this is going to fly towards me uh and then back you can't really see it right now but if i bring in like a like a new camera and make sure it's like a 50 uh, 15 millimeter and uh if i go to my text here and make sure that the camera uh, system is set to comp camera and not the internal camera for the plugin uh, you can definitely see it now like if i rotate the camera and go back to my plugin here if I do the Z amount here and fly towards us so you can definitely see the separation much better so we'll, we'll do that internally uh, within the camera there so let's erase this camera uh, and let's set some keyframes make sure we s we're set back on camera position basically the internal camera of this plugin uh, and let's set the keyframe for the Z amount so first keyframe is zero and let's hit U to reveal all, all of our keyframes I'm going to go to the very last one here and set it to zero as well. So keyframe that. And then in the middle here, about frame 20, I'm going to take it up to all the way to 25. So you see this, you know, it's not really coming forward very much. And to fix that, we'll actually, before we go there, let's do just uh, easy ease in, control shift F9, and then uh, easy ease out, shift F9. 
and you know you can do right click and however you want to do this you can do uh like easy ease f9 but each each of these have shortcuts i use shortcuts so and now i'm going to go into the let's go to graph here this isn't the speed graph this is a value graph so i'm going to select this and maybe extend its sum i want it to be slightly you know stay there slightly longer so it's coming towards us and then back down so that's good um so let's fix this whole um, like a depth thing. So let's go into our uh, camera position here. And as you can see, there's a Z position and the focal length. We're going to play with that. So we're going to take, um, hold on, make sure. So I'm going to do Control R to bring the ruler. And I'm going to bring this down here. I, wanna, I just want to line up the guide thing here. So I'm going to play with this. So I'm going to take it back to about 20 and then bring it back with a Z position to, I think it's, I've done this before, 572 I think is the number. So it lines up good. So if you turn it off, you can get it slightly off. So I know it's a weird way of doing it, but that's how you have to do it if you want to keep it within this plugin. So that's good. Let's take this away again. Hold on one second. Okay, Control R. Okay, good. So essentially now it's, it's looking much better. And let's preview what we have so far. All right, it's looking good. Uh, so now let's work with the rotation. Uh, so I'm gonna go to first keyframe here and I'm going to work with, um, this time with the Y rotation. So I'm gonna, like I said, everything we're doing is internally here. So I'm gonna set uh, this to zero and set a keyframe. And I'm gonna go hit U to reveal all my keyframes. And I'm going to go to the last one here. And I'm just going to do a full 360. So I'm just going to type 1 in here. So as you can see, it's doing full 360. We see more of the separation. And then it's back. Okay. And I'm going to do easy ease out. Control Shift F9. And for this value, I'm just going to leave it as this. And uh, I'm actually going to apply an expression called inertia bounce. It, it will kind of give me that rubber band look. And if you don't know anything about inertia bounds, be sure to check out one of my tutorials at ukermedia.com. I'll include the link to it uh, below this video and also follow a link to the expression where we're going to copy and paste it. So let's go and do that right now. Okay, so the link below should bring you to this uh, page. And if you're not here, I'm sorry, but you should definitely be here. And that's where you'll find the inertia bounds uh, expression and also uh, bounce back expression. Uh, and it, both of them were created by Dan from MotionScript. The guy is amazing. He's a genius on this stuff. And thank you, Dan, for all your work. So I want to make sure that you know that I had nothing to do with these expressions. I didn't create them. It was all Dan. So thank you, Dan. But anyway, let's select this and copy it, Control-C, and let's get back to After Effects. All right, so here's where we left off. And as you can see, uh, everything's there except the arrival. It's just very rigid and kind of boring. So this is where our inertia balance expression comes in. So all we're going to do is just uh, we're going to select uh, hold alt on our keyboard uh, and then click on the stopwatch and now you can apply your expression so do control v to paste it and um, you can if you hover over the line like this you can drag it down we're just going to adjust a few things the frequency i'm just going to take it down to two and uh, decay i'm going to take it down to uh, six so a frequency i don't want to i want to be a little more soft so uh, let's preview this, and this time we'll see what it looks like with the expression uh, applied. As you can see, it's much more fluid and very, very nice. So, and that's really about it. The only other thing that you might want to do to this, uh, if you turn on the motion blur, it doesn't really work with this. So if you turn all, you know, everything on, it doesn't really work for some odd reason. So. You probably would have to key, uh, select all your keyframes and then Control Shift C and like pre comp everything and then use either a real smart motion blur if you have it. But if you don't, there's a, uh, I think After Effects one has like a pixel, uh, pixel bl motion blur. Yeah, this right here. Just apply that to your layer and uh, it should give you the motion blur that you need. The cool thing about all this is once you've done all the hard work, you can make it into a preset that you can use in your other projects. Now, the only catch or the only disclaimer that I have for this is make sure you apply this uh, preset 
to a project that's in the same dimension that you created it in. So let's say if you created it in 1920 by 1080, make sure if you apply this preset to your other project, make sure that that project is also in 1920 by 1080. So that's the only disclaimer I have. But to create it, it's very simple. Just make sure you select the effect and just go to icon here, click on it, and then type uh, whatever, label it whatever you want it. Uh, I'll do text transition, hit save. And let's actually, let's erase all the effects. So control shift E. So you can see there's nothing happening there. So if I'll go like 10 frames forward and uh, and then just look for my preset text uh, transition, there it is. And if I double click on it, as you can see, there it is, very easy. If you like the uh, project file of this tutorial or the preset, just uh, go to ukramedia.com or follow a link below this video. All right, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to like the video, share it. If you haven't subscribed to, the, to my YouTube channel, be sure to do that. And also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and definitely check out ukramedia.com for more content. And I also love hearing from you guys. In fact, I recently got to know a guy named Daniel Fernandez from Spain, super awesome guy. Uh, I used to live in Spain for like a year and when I was nine and I used to speak the language and Daniel uh, uh, runs a website called Raka Lingua and uh, he does all the animations and stuff on it and he hooked me up with a subscription to it so now I can learn Spanish again. I lost it. I used to speak it. I definitely would love to visit Spain one day. So Daniel, I definitely want to thank you for it. I, I love it. I love the site. My kid loves it. So yeah, thank you so much, man. But anyway, until next time, my name is Sergei Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com. Yeah.